all three candidates were very well qualified. Um, you know, they didn't stumble on their answers. They spoke with conviction. They had, you know, they, they could back their reasons up with experience. But um, the one thing that Carmen had um, clearly that the other two didn't was like a, the, a level of being personal personable, um, congenial, being excited, uh, that connection mm -hmm. that you had to the with city not and to the, the city, department, but even just yeah. to the person that mm -hmm. she's interviewing with. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it's, you cannot um, downplay that character, I think, especially when you're dealing, when you're leading an department, you need all of the officers to buy in. Um, I've heard repeatedly from people that, um, you know, there was a little bit of surprise when she got the deputy chief position, when Kathleen Tool named her, because mm -hmm. there were other, um, you know, people who were leading departments, yeah. leading precincts, who maybe yeah. some may have looked at as more qualified, but for some reason, Kathleen O'Toole handpicked Or Carmen. different skill sets or exactly. what have you. And, and she even said, she says, you know, she... And has she, been mentoring Carmen. Absolutely. Yeah. And time. I think that's one of the things that Carmen said that she took away from that was, you know, she got to see, you know, what it was like to be chief. She basically, you know, handled all of the administrative stuff for the department, mm -hmm. whereas, you know, Chief O'Toole took on some of the bigger decisions that you have to mm -hmm. as chief. And she learned. Yeah. And so in the interview process, you know, seeing her talk with such enthusiasm and seeing how that would translate to speaking to rank and file, to connecting with them, to leading them forward, to continuing with the reform process. That was one of the big sort of criticisms, I think, against Carmen um, was the fact that was she too much mm -hmm. of an insider? Right. Would she be able to crack down on officers who misbehave? And, you know, we'll have to see how that unfolds moving forward. I can't wait to hear her interview. She's the first African-American female mm -hmm. chief in yeah. the city of Seattle. Yeah at a time when we are still talking about reforms, when we the Seattle Police Department doesn't have a contract. Um, and how do you think that's going to fall in the city and in the region? So, you know, we've we've been hearing some scuttlebutt that, you know, the obviously the union has been meeting with the city, that finally, after four years of basically stagnation, you know, they're awesome. moving forward with negotiations. Both sides aren't allowed to talk about it. But, um, you know, I, I think that there are people who are in part of the process who at least can express the fact that they've been hopeful, mm -hmm. that finally, you know, some headway is being made. Um, they were really afraid of a new chief coming in and all of a sudden that coming to a crashing halt. And it's and important to say that, you know, Cameron McClay, who may end up being Carmen Best's boss, if Which he is ends interesting. up being a consultant may be for the city, right? Um, That's that right. He was kind of, you know, he clashed with the union in his own city. Um, and now, what so, do we know about him? So, you know, he... Interesting guy. I, mean, I think we talked up a little bit about the fact the clash with the union in the city, and um, according to the Seattle Times article, they had talked to him and they he had expressed some concern um, that he was reluctant to go and lead a department again with a similar clash coming on. It's a lot to take on to get uh, a vote of no confidence mm -hmm. from your rank and file. It's a hard thing to stomach. We've had chiefs here in Seattle who've had that in the past, and it hasn't right, gone very right. well. So, um, you know, it, it's going to be interesting having him work under the mayor, um, if that indeed unfolds the way we expect it to, and Carmen con to continue to lead the department here in the city.